Hey, this is Scott, and today we're going to do a quick shoot with this backdrop from Kate Backdrops. If you're new to this channel, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I first heard about Kate Backdrops from another YouTube video, so I reached out to them to ask about reviewing some of their backdrops, and they sent me this one for free. Uh, but this is going to be my own opinion, and you can see how it looks, so you can judge for yourself. These backdrops are made from cotton and they're supposed to be resistant to wrinkles. Obviously, you can see there are some wrinkles in it. Um, it was folded up when it came to me and this is the first time I unfolded it. So it's kind of unavoidable, but there's definitely much less than there are in some other backdrops like, like this one. You can see, I hope on the video, you can see that this is much, much more wrinkly than this cape backdrop is. It feels heavy duty and good quality, but it's not so heavy that you need a lot of uh, support to hang it up. This is just a cheap uh, backdrop stand and I have just only three clips here holding it up and it works just fine, there's no problem. The only reason I need three is because it would sag in the middle if I don't use three. Um, there is no loop on the top though to put the pole actually through it, so you do need some kind of clips. Or I guess you could sew some kind of uh, section on the top if you wanted to by yourself to slide the pole through it instead. It is completely seamless and there are a bunch of different designs that they have including more abstract ones like this uh, and also some with kind of more of a picture on it like flowers or trees and stuff like that so you can have something for pretty much any situation, any mood, any atmosphere. Um, I picked this one because I like more of a dark background usually and I think the abstract will look nice if I use a shallow depth of field which I typically like to do. If you have any more specific questions, let me know down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. But for today, we're gonna to do a photo shoot. I have a model here with me, so you can see how it will look in a couple of different situations with uh, different lighting setups and whatnot. I am shooting in the studio today. Um, maybe I'll do another video in the future using natural window light or something like that. But for now, uh, let's get to it. So this is our model for today. This is Akane. She's modeled for me before. You might have seen her in another video. I didn't introduce her last time. I apologize for that. Um, She's gonna model for me today and we'll do just a couple of different setups. Now I have the big Octobox here with the reflector and that's it. I have a, a video light in the back with a orange filter on it just as a kind of rim light. And I'm shooting with the 5D Mark IV and I have the Tamron 85 uh, 1.8 VC here that I'm testing out. This is the first time I've actually done a shoot with this. So we'll see how it comes out. I'm gonna shoot with my Canon 85 as well and we'll see how they look. So we just finished shooting and we did a few different setups, uh, different lighting, different outfits. So hopefully you'll get an idea for how this backdrop can look in some different moods and everything. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching.